I barely escaped from Joey with my life. Hard to believe he'd once been my best friend. I knew that Arana's life was still on the line, and right now I was her only hope. It was time to put an end to what I'd created. And fast. Joey catch up. I was running out of time. see that chair again. For the first time in a long time, I felt fear. think that you can beat me in my own mind? Joey, this is the only way I can stop this madness. Madness? Foster, only humans are capable of madness. In here, you'll only find logic. And the directive. Well-being, I ensure that our citizens are always happy. That the media they receive is individually curated. So they only ever see whatever will make them happy. I know every aspect of all their lives. Human mentors ensure that any threat to a citizen's happiness is eradicated before it arises. And our reflection spa technology transposes bad memories for good. So memories are always happy. But what about their free will? You are imposing your vision of human happiness, not theirs. But worse, your ultimate thought control requires the cruel experimentation on kidnapped children. Gap children, not the children of citizens. Two could play at this game. If they were going to twist the truth, I would just have to bend it back. Joey, look. If the citizens knew the cruelty you were inflicting on those children, in order to find ever more effective ways to control every aspect of their own lives, they would be appalled, very unhappy. Citizens unhappy. No control of happiness. No, Foster. Stop. 
What are you doing? You have destroyed my ability to make humans happy, despite themselves. But now, you can't question the necessity for a minister of aspiration. The success of plenty and comfort led to people becoming complacent. They lacked ambition, which made them unhappy. But now, my kudos system makes people aspire to be ever more successful. They strive to reach their maximum potential. Their desire to go down in the world provides clear goals for self-fulfillment. You have witnessed Aspiration Day, the celebration of aspiration and raw ambition. But your system is destructive. This is the truth. The truth is that you set people against each other. Winners can only win when they have losers to look down on. No! Anyone who strives can succeed. Everyone can be a winner. You have created an unobtainable perfection. People now just compare themselves with others, so are never satisfied with their own real achievements. Aspiration without achievement is contrary to the directive. Unresolvable conflict. You must stop this, Foster. You must not destroy everything that I've built. How can you fault me for inspiring the citizens? I made them safe, secure, Minister of Safety. There is no logic that can possibly challenge my ministry. For without safety, without freedom from fear, what use are comfort and prosperity? Safety and happiness go inextricably together, and there is nowhere safer than inside these walls. There is no war here. No crime. No violence. The citizens do live in fear. Fear of the unknown. This is the truth. You ensure that they can't ever leave the city. But they are safe in here. Protected by these walls. Every day they live in fear of what unknowns lurk outside the city walls. Of the people of the Gap who they believe bring disease and death. You think the walls form a mighty fortress, but in reality, they are a prison. You cannot be claiming that their safety is... By making them safe, I am... Enslaving them? Insoluble paradox! Foster, it is you who is mad. Playing with words and shattering my ministries. Comfort, tell him! The old city was primitive, sustained through the drudgery of its people. Physical labor, 
endless, undignified, inhuman. But my ministry, Comfort, removed those burdens, liberated the people from drudgery. Now my droids cook, clean, maintain, manage everything for the citizens. That's right, they do. This is the truth. But this has led your citizens to become apathetic, lethargic. The citizens are decadent. Poll results prove that they want to live in total luxury all of the time. do for the citizens, the more entitled they feel to do less for themselves. In removing all agency, responsibility, they have become more like pets than people. But decadence is incompatible with happiness. Humans are not possible. Foster, how can you remove the luxury from my citizens? You remember what it was like before I, we, defeated Link? The citizens were starving. At least, spare the Ministry of Plenty. Foster, humans have basic needs. Food, water, shelter. Union City provides these in abundance. The people have all they need to be happy. How can there possibly be a flaw in that logic? See? The citizens get all they can consume and more at their respective kudos level. And our friends benefit. Our trade makes them rich. That's what you tell the citizens, but it's a lie. To sustain this level of consumption, you have pillaged your so-called ally, Asio City, leaving its people impoverished. Your ministry, like the others, must go. But the citizens, how will they survive? learn to live with what they need rather than what they think they want. Do you think the citizens would be happy if they knew the cost of their plenty? Not happy? With plenty? I was so close. I was about to achieve the directive. Joey, no. What you did was evil. I had to destroy it. The directive? Don't you understand? The directive was madness. Where did that idea come from? But Foster, the directive came from you. What? Don't you remember? It was the last command you gave to me before you left me alone to run the city. No, Joey. I didn't give you any command. Yes, you did. Before you left, you came to see me in the chair one last time. Told me I would do a great job running Union City. Said you were proud of me. And I asked you, Foster, how do I know if I'm doing the right thing? And you said, make the citizens happy. 
and that's what I've strived to do ever since. What? No, that can't be. I have perfect recall, remember? But, Joey, that wasn't a directive. We were friends. I tried so hard, Foster. So very, very hard to make people happy. Like you wanted. But I failed, didn't I? I guess, like you said, it's just too hard. Joey, I'm sorry. I should have stayed. I don't want to be in charge anymore. Is my directive over? Yes, Joey. Your directive is over. Are we friends again? Yes, buddy. We're friends again. All I wanted was to make people happy.